Today, Blender 3.3.1. Let's get started. Say hello to the demo cube. Press view numpad 1. B. Enter edit mode. Alt C. X ray. Alt A. Deselect all. B. Box selector. Select these vertices. Go to the move tool. Move it to the right like this. E. Extrude. G. Grab. E. Extrude. E. Extrude. G. Grab. R. Rotate. E. Extrude. Rotate. E. Extrude. R. Rotate. G. E. Extrude. G. Grab. E. Extrude. R. Rotate. G. Grab. E. Extrude. G. Grab. R. Rotate. Alt A. C. Circle selection. Select these vertices. Escape. Exit. Circle selection. R. Rotate. G. Grab. Adapt where necessary. Alt A. Deselect all. C. Circle selection. Select those vertices. Escape. Rotate. G. Tweak where necessary. Alt A. Deselect all. C. Circle selection. R. Rotate. Alt A. C. Circle selection. Select these vertices. Escape. E. Extrude here. E. Extrude there. R. Rotate. G. Move. G. Grab here. Alt A. Deselect all. C. Circle selection. Escape. Rotate. Alt A. C. Circle selection. Select these vertices. Escape. E. Extrude. G. Grab and move. C. Circle selection. Add these vertices to your selection. Escape. Go to Edge Menu. New bridge edge loops. Success. Save and be happy. Alt A. Deselect all. C. Circle selection. Select these vertices. Grab and tweak the position as needed. Rotate if necessary. Alt A. Deselect all. C. Circle selection. Keep tweaking. If and when necessary. Go to the loop cut tool. Cut here, here, there, 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 whenever you like and whenever you like. Alt A. Deselect all. C. Circle selection. Select what you need to tweak. Escape. Grab. G. Tweak position if needed. Now keep designing the way you just learned. Control S. Save. Tap key. Exit. Edit mode. Start checking the 3D view of your developing lenses. Now go to modifiers. Add modifier. Mirror. Like this. Go at level 3. Now now, tap key, edit mode, Alt A, check that anything is deselected. Let's start working on some details. Alt Z, X ray, C selector vertices, escape the circle selection. Alt Z, solid view, make the bridge rounder for your pretty nose. Alt A, Alt Z, C selection, keep tweaking the design as you like. Keep using the loop cut tool wherever and whenever needed. Here, loop cut tool is a very good friend of yours. Keep testing your design. Alt A, C, G, you should already know the combinations. Now, check the 3D view, Alt Z for solid view. We want to bend the frame slightly. Alt A, B, select this side, bring it a bit to the back. Top view, numpad 7, R, rotate and adapt the curvature of the frame, like this. Control S, save and be happy. Numpad 1, front view, Alt A, Alt Z, C, keep refining your design any way you like. Don't forget to loop cut, one of your best friends by now. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun. But stay Focus. Keep tweaking until you're happy. Tap key. Exit edit mode. Control S. Save and be happy. Object. Shade. Smooth. Now, if you don't like this overlapping at the middle, tap key to go to edit mode. Alt A. Alt Z. Go to face mode. Here. See this face here. Select it. This is the guilty face. Delete with the delete key. Only face. Exit edit mode. Alt Z. Solid view. Control S. Save and be happy. B selection. Select these vertices. R, Z if needed. Keep adapting the curvature like this. Don't forget to check your 3D view. Tap key to exit edit mode. Control S, save and be happy. Now the lenses go on the nose. Tap key edit mode. Alt A to select all. With the shift key, select these vertices right here. E to extrude. Top view. G and adapt the position. R to adapt the orientation. S to adapt the scale. E to extrude. Here. E to extrude. There. Move the view with your mouse. R, X to rotate on the X axis. Keep tweaking the position with the move tool. E to extrude. E to extrude. E to extrude. Alt Z, Alt A, C selection. Select these vertices. R, X, and tweak the rotation as needed. Keep tweaking the position. Alt, A, C, selection. Select these vertices. Escape, S, Y. Compress the design in this direction. Tweak the position here. Alt, Z, check your 3D view as much as you can. Alt, Z, Alt, A, C, select this side. Escape, circle selection. Adapt the position here. Alt, Z, solid view. Alt, A, with the shift key, select these vertices. E to extrude, E to extrude. Alt, Z, Alt, A, C. Adapt the position. Alt Z. Alt A. Face mode. Select this top face. Extrude. Extrude. Select this side face. Extrude. 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 Control S. Save and be happy. Select the no supporting bars here. Beware of unwanted vertices. Shift. Deselect. Escape. Circle selection. Set a numpad. Top view. R. Adapt the rotation. G. Adapt the position. Now the bars are more evenly placed. Like this. Alt Z. Select view. Set a numpad. Check the design in all its angles. Starting from the top view. When you like it, Control S. Save and be happy. Tap key. Exit edit mode. Now we need some supporting branches. Tap key, key edit mode. Check your side structure. We are lacking some cuts. You know your best friend is the loop cut tool. Here, there. Check that your design is still really pretty. Like this. Now, face mode. This face. Alt Z, X rays. Now, E to extrude. E again to extrude more. Set a numpad. Top view. E to extrude once more. Alt A. Go to vertex mode. Go to the move tool. C selection. Select those vertices. Move them to the side to adapt the shape. C. Shift deselect these vertices. Here, escape the selection tool. Keep adapting the position of the remaining vertices. R to tweak the orientation. G to adapt the position. Alt Z. Solid view. Check the shape. Alt Z. Adapt the position. This vertex. Tweak it here to have a pretty descending shape. Adapt the thickness here. B. Box selection. Select these vertices. Do an S, Y, 0 to level these vertices on the same flat plane. Like this. Enter. Control S. Save and be happy. If necessary, tweak the design any way you like. Keep the magic alive. Like this. Numpad 7. Top view. Alt Z. X ray. Alt A. Deselect all. B box selection. Select these vertices. E to extrude these vertices. Extrude as many times as necessary. When you're happy, do an E. Extrude and don't move that much to keep a flat ending. Keep the shape fancy to make something original and be happy. Like this.
check all the angles like this. Now, this flat ending is important for the hinge. Select these vertices with shift. Do a shift press cursor to select it. Go to the add menu, circle, align to the world like this. Do a P selection. Let's take this circle out of this world. Exit edit mode, select the circle. End menu, check its dimension. Two is good. Go to edit mode. A, number three, side beat. Adapt its position here. Use E to extrude. Click in position as to scale and give it some thickness like this. A, adapt the position on the Y axis like this. E to extrude on the Z axis. Here, we'll tweak the thickness later. Exit edit mode. Object, shape, smooth. Control S, save and be happy. Now, go to object menu. Set origin to 3D cursor like this. Set the mirror axis on the Z axis like this. Check your design. Check the position. This is pretty good. Now make a shift D Z to create the center cylinder like this. Remove the mirror modifier here. Now go to edit mode. Tap key Alt Z. Now tweak the scale here to make it fit like this. Exit edit mode. Take these cylinders. Tap key for edit mode. Go to loop cut here. Click in the middle. Ask for two cuts right here. Do an S Z to make sharper edges like this. Number three. Side view. Alt Z at A B. Select the bottom vertices. Make them go out a little bit more like this. Exit edit mode. Alt Z. Control S, save and be happy. Now select the hinge like this. Adapt the position on the Y axis, this solid structure. Number three, side view. Go to edit mode, face mode. Select the ending phase. W to get this menu. Subdivide, subdivide again. Subdivide as necessary. Number three, side view. Vertex mode, Alt Z, Alt A. Now B selection, select the middle vertices here. Adapt the shape like this. Do a diagonal for local view. Point on the numpad to zoom in. Alt Z for solid view, check the shape. Alt A to select all. Now tweak the ending as necessary. Selecting some vertices with shift whenever needed. So you get enough space for the center hinge like this. The diagonal on the numpad to go back to general view like this. Exit edit mode. Select the hinge. Adapt the position as needed like this. Control S save and be happy. Now tap key, go to edit mode, Alt A, Alt Z. Select these ending vertices. The selection here. Escape, Shift D. Move that to the side. P selection to extract these vertices. Tap key, exit edit mode. Select what we've just extracted. Edit mode. A, Alt Z, solid view. Check position. It's got to grab the center hinge, but not touch the rest. Extrude, extrude, extrude. Check the length at your local optic shop. E, extrude. Number three, side view. Do an S, Y, zero to level these vertices. R, rotate slightly. Grab and move. Extrude, extrude. R, rotate. G, grab. Extrude. Zoom out. Check the length bottom of the lenses. E, extrude slightly. S scale grab move check your design number seven top view activate proportional editing up here g x with the middle mouse button make the circle bigger or smaller the thing is a nice small curvature to the end of the branch like this remove proportional editing click alt z x-ray Control plus on the numpad to select the next stage of vertices g x adapt Control plus next stage of vertices g x keep adapting the curvature when you're happy exit edit mode Control s save and be happy watch your design from all its angles like this now let's create a fake screw for the hinge select the hinge shift d click remove the mirrors edit mode alt z x-ray c select the center for y delete the inverted vertices like this a f both do an s z complete the height of the hinge alt z solid view alt z x-ray look cut you know your best friend click here add six cuts like this b select the top b select the bottom s to make it bigger like this s z to bring it back in the hinge like this alt z to check the height alt a base mode select the top do an i inset like this i will make it round at the top like this alt a select the bottom e for inset move like this now i will move it up like this inset again move here click exit edit mode look at your design Control s save and be happy i modifier mirror on the x-axis point on the numpad to have a general view like this now select the branches here edit mode alt z alt a c selection select the ending here escape selection shift d to duplicate p to extract this part here we are select that part roll to Go to modifiers, add, solidify, move it to the top of the list. Here, Alt Z for solid view, offset, one, thickness, have a go at port one, depends what you need. Edit mode, Alt Z, vertex mode, box select the start here, do an S, Y, zero. Now, tweak the distance, here, E, to extrude and have a smoother ending, like here. Exit edit mode, control S, save, and be happy. Now, we need some low supports. Zoom in, go to edit mode, Alt A, select these vertices, with shift, select, 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 shift D, click, P to extract selection, exit edit mode with the tab key, select what we've just extracted, go to edit mode with the tab key, A, F, close this part and move it right here, E for extrusion here, E for extrusion right there, E for extrusion, extrusion again with E again, select everything and adapt the position, scale on the X axis if necessary, S, X, face mode, select the ending face here, extrude, scale more, extrude, scale again, extrude to make it smooth but with some thickness, like this, extrude again, scale down, like this, to give it a smooth ending, like this, W to check the angle, the angle is perfect for the nose, great, exit edit mode, now we have some very nice nose support, F2, nose supports, save and rub your nose. Now, these are some glasses, so we need some glasses. Select the frame, F2, call it frame, or the frame. Select the branches, F2, call them branches. Select the branches endings, F2, call them branches ending. Select the hinge, call it hinge, save and say my name. Now, about the glasses for these sunglasses. Select the frame, go to edit mode, one on the numpad front, Alt Z, vertex mode, Alt A, C, select the interior vertices like this. Precisely, tap to exit edit mode, select what we've just extracted. Here, save and be happy, tap to enter edit mode, A, F. 
to close this shape. Now, this looks a bit crappy. Go to face mode, select the front face. I to insert, don't move, and click right here. Go at the back, select the back face. I to insert like this, don't move and click. Select everything with A, mesh, merge by distance. Check duplicate vertices and clean the mesh. Save and be happy. Now, we're almost done, but this is the Jewelry Rockstar channel. So, we need some gemstones. And guess what? In the other tutorial, we made a diamond. So, go to file, append, find that diamond, append it here. Select it, rotate, check the scale to something that suits your lenses. Front view, save and shine like a diamond. Now, turn on this knob. Configure the snap to face project. Snap with center. Align rotation to target. Effect move and rotate. G to grab and check the snap in action. Add modifier. Mirror. Control S. Save and be happy. I'm going to adapt the size of my diamond now. Start distributing diamonds. Shift D. 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 Shift D again. Shift D again. Shift D again. Shift D again. And lastly, Shift D. You have completed the diamond distribution. Control S. Save and be happy. Now, seven them pad top view. Add per busy curve. Go to edit mode. Grab, move, and adapt as needed. Follow the edges and positions of the diamonds as good as possible, which means perfectly. A, W, subdivide when needed. Keep tweaking. Exit edit mode. Control S, save. Top view. Add busy circle. Center it on X. Edit mode. Scale each vertex by 0.3. Enter and be happy. Scale. 0.3. Enter and be happy. Scale. 0.3. Enter and be happy. Scale. 0.3. Enter and be happy. Exit edit mode. Save. Take that border curve. Object data. Resolution. 50. Go to geometry. Bevel. Object. Select the circle we just made. Here. Build caps. Number 7. Top view. Add curve. Busy. Call it a curve. Enter. Save and be happy. Select the border. Tapper object. Select the tapper curve. Here. Take the tapper curve. Edit mode. Now adapt the thicknesses as needed. Like this. Tweak the border curve if needed. Edit mode. Keep adapting. Extrude. Make it to the surface of the frame. Avoid touching the diamond. It's better for you. You'll live a happier life when you're done. Save and be happy. Shift D. Click. We're going to make another border. Edit mode on that new border. Now adapt the endings so they end in some solid part of the frame or the other border. Like this. Grab, move, adapt, keep tweaking. I want this ending to come back here to make a more solid ending and also better looking. Like this. Exit edit mode. Couple less say and be very happy. Now if needed, tweak the diamond's position. Like this. Now we need mirrors based on the frame on X. Like this. Couple less say and be shiny. Now we need some prongs. Add, mesh, sphere. Segments, 85. Rings, 30. Size, 1. Go to edit mode. Alt A, Alt Z, 1 front view, B, select the button, move to lower it like this, make it pretty long. Exit edit mode, call this prong, point zero zero one. control S, save and be prongy. Now, we need to fix the center of mass. Tab edit mode, Alt A to select all, B selection, select this, control S, cursor to select it, but that's too low. Go to the view settings, to the cursor location, find a suited location a bit higher than this, here, for me, it works. Exit edit mode, object, origin to 3D cursor, control S, save and be prongy. Now, this prong is way too big, S to scale, adapt your design. Turn on the snap right here, to face project. Center, align rotation to target, affect move and rotation. Are you ready to set the prongs? Yes. Control S, save and be prongy. Pull this, border, top, hide it. Now, name that border, bottom, hide it. Save and be ready to distribute prongs for the diamonds. Select the prong, adapt the view, shift D, and start distributing your prongs. Don't forget to shade smooth your prong like this. Shift D will have two prongs between stones and for the ending, like this. Shift D, keep making your prongs. Shift D, shift D, making prongs, distributing prongs. Shift D, shift D, shift D. That's the new prong wrap. Shift D, shift D. Keep the beat, keep the beat. Move it, move it, move it. Shift D, shift D, shift D. Distribute your prongs. Shift D, shift D, shift D. Don't make a mess. Make it like a pro. Grab and adapt. Grab and adapt. Great. Now we need to check with the borders on. We'll find the borders and show them again. Shift D. We need an ending prong right here. Okay, my prongs might be a bit messy. You'll do better. I'm going to freak this. Remove the snap and adapt rotation and position of each prong. This is very fast because in fact it's not that messy. Don't forget to check the backside. Grab. Keep freaking your prongs. Check the details. If you follow the prong wrap, this should be only a question of details by now. Double R to adjust the angles, the rotations, the positions. Check the height and position of your adapt the details of these positions like this. Now you can complete the design however you like. Keep tweaking these details to have a happy ending. Almost there yet. You still have to work it out a little bit more to have a happy ending. Select the diamonds. Select, 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 select. Shift D. Enter. Control J to group them. Hold that. Feathers. Now go to modifiers. Add modifiers solidify. Move it to the top of the list like here. Now offset one. Find a suited thickness. I'll stay at point three. This is pretty good. Now add modifier. We mesh. Now take the frame. Add modifier. Boolean difference. Fast search for the cutters right here. Local view diagonal numpad. Check these cuts. This is very clean. General view again. Alt A. Control S. Save and have a happy ending. A round of applause for you. You have completed the modeling of these jewelry sunglasses. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Take care and see you soon.